Gary, congratulations to your induction in the Hall of Fame. Thank you. I have a few questions I want to ask you. First off, what individuals had the greatest influence on you and your wrestling career? John Dalem is the, was the coach from Loera. He was my mentor. I would call him <laughs> all times of the day at night and wake him and he'd always take my calls and buck me up and he's everything that a, a coach should be. I, I learned how to coach from him. Who is or was your idol? My idol? Wow, in wrestling you mean? Wrestling or Dan, otherwise? Dan Gable has is, is always been an idol and, and you know I think for most wrestlers and I got to meet him once that was quite an experience. Um, it was at the coaches uh, national meeting we had a wrestler at my high school. Uh, my high school in Oregon went through that shooting, Thurston High School. We had a shooter come to school and shot up our cafeteria and my wrestler took down the shooter oh, wow. and uh, Jake Riker and I got to take Jake to the national convention and Dan Gable presented him with the award of valor. Dan came to our room to talk to us beforehand and got to sit at the head table with him and that was yeah. quite an experience. He's quite a man. Oh yeah. How did you get started in wrestling? Uh, well, like I was going to say in my speech tonight, I was probably the only one who's going to make this Hall of Fame who quit wrestling. Uh -huh. My freshman year in high school, I was out for three and a half weeks. I was 0-5 and, and I quit. I just didn't get it. I wasn't weak or anything. I just didn't get it. And um, my parents moved me to New York the next year, decided to try again, and I won a match. And that lit a fire in me that still burns today. What do you attribute your success in wrestling to? L really great people that I worked with, great assistant coaches, many of them. Every one of my assistants but two uh, were wrestlers for me, and they're, they're just tremendous kids. And hard work. Uh, we, I know that we worked a lot harder than most teams. Uh, our practices, I look back now, I didn't realize everybody else wasn't doing the same thing, but we had, a, on average, three to three and a half hour practices every day. Wow. So we worked really hard. Is there one outstanding situation or memory that you have involving wrestling? I think the first CIF title we won to win the Southern CIF sec uh, sectional, that'll always be sweet because we went into that tournament not realizing we were going to win it. and. It was really on the line going down to the last match in the finals, and I don't think I've ever been such a nervous wreck. And yeah. when we finally won that, that was 1984, it was, it was a dream come true. Is there, as a wrestler, is there one match that really stands out in your mind? As, as I was a wrestler? Yeah. Yes. Yes, uh, when I was in junior college, uh, we went up against Santa Ana, I'm sorry, it was a uh, San Bernardino Valley College who had never lost a dual meet. I was at Orange Coast College and I had challenged our 177 pounder. I was 160. I went up two weights to find a spot to wrestle and I beat our guy. And to my coach's credit, Fred Brooks, which taught me something I've never forgotten, he could have easily said, this is the most important match of the year, Gary. I'm sorry you won the match, but i got to go with our regular varsity guy. He didn't do that. He let me wrestle, and I wrestled Joe Hollins, who this guy had muscles in his ears. And when we tied up, he arm dragged me and threw me into the stands. I landed upside down in a bunch of cheerleaders. And there were, there were 4,000 people in that gym, and uh, I beat him 4-3. to three. I still don't oh. really know how I beat him. He was a monster. And he was so much bigger than me, and somehow I pulled it off. That was the greatest yeah. match I ever wrestled by far. Why did you decide to become a coach? I was working Jungle Cruise at Disneyland, and Ike Isaacson came up to me, a security guard who was also the AD at uh, Villa Park, and he said, uh, didn't you wrestle in college? Yeah. Can you coach? I don't know. You want a coach? Sure. So I became the assistant at Ville Park and the rest was history. Yeah. If you could start all over again, what would you do differently as a coach? 
Wow, I think I would, I would enjoy each moment for what it was. Uh, I don't think I really took the time to enjoy what was happening. I was so wrapped up with constantly, every year we had to win CIF, and I got so wrapped up in that, I, I didn't stop long enough to enjoy it, and so it went by so fast. I'm only enjoying it now that I look back on it and I see my old wrestlers again. Yeah. What would you like people to remember you about you? That I really cared about my wrestlers, that I looked at them as, as my sons, that, uh, I have a relationship with them that I think will carry across all the years. I'm going to see so many of these guys tonight. We've probably got 50 or 60 of them here. And some of them are in their 50s now and are grandfathers. And what I'm most proud of is how successful they've all been. It's amazing some of the things they're doing. I have their pictures on my wall at school with their families. And that's my, my proudest thing, is I have all these pictures of these kids. It's like an extended family. It's wonderful. How, how did wrestling contribute to your life, personally? Well, I, I learned two months ago that I, I'm ADHD. And I've been undiagnosed my whole life, and that suddenly explained everything how I could start a hundred things and not finish anything. And, and I think as I got a little older, I began to ameliorate that into wrestling and, and I began to finish things. And I think being ADHD really helped me as a coach because a coach has to do a thousand different things at once, which is what I, what I did. And I just learned how to complete them. I'm not sure if that answered your question, but... It does. Well, Gary, congratulations again on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you.